Hi, hello, namaste. This is Manisha Khatwani and I am a Mumbai best tarot card reader and an astrologer. You can catch me on www.ratshree.com. I'm going to be telling you about Indian astrology versus Western astrology. What is the difference between the two? What are the benefits and non-benefits? Well, I'm going to tell you everything. So let's see what is the difference between Indian and Western astrology. Well, when we talk about Indian astrology, Indian astrology, of course, the planets are all in Hindi, like Surya, Shani, Buddha, Guru, and of course, in Western Western, the planets are in English, like Jupiter, Mars, Venus and uh, various other planets. But the meanings of the planets do not change, they remain the same. Indian, Indian astrology is very, very specific, like in Indian astrology we know as the horoscope as Kundli, whereas in Western astrology the horoscope is known as the horoscope itself. But in Western astrology, your Lagna chart is not there. For example, in Indian astrology, you have your Lagna chart. In Western astrology, also you have your basic chart, but there's no name as Lagna chart. Well, astrologically, I would say that Western astrology is drawn also differently as far as Indian astrology. They basically have the same 12 planets, the 12 houses. Everything remains the same, but the major difference between the two as as Marjorie Orr also has said, is that Western astrology does not offer solutions and Indian astrology definitely offers solutions. This is the basic difference between the two. Because when we're talking about, for example, a weak Mars in Western astrology, you simply have a weak Mars. There's really nothing that can be done about that. But when we're talking about it in a Hindu uh, horoscope, for example, if Kundli mein hum log dekh lete hai ki aapka mangal kharab hai, then definitely we can do some upais for that, some solutions for that. And what are the upais and solutions for that? For example, if your mangal is weak, I would like to say you can wear red coral, you can do Om Kram Krim Krom Sahab Umay Namaha Ka Jaap, Aap Mangal Shanti Pooja Kara Sakte Hai, Hanuman Chalisa Ka Paat Kar Sakte Hai, Lal Masoor Dal Ka Daan Kar Sakte Hai, Lal Cheezo Ka Daan Kar Sakte Hai, Mangalwar Ke Lai Vrat Rakh Sakte Hai. There are lots of upais as far as Western, uh, Indian astrology is concerned, but Western astrology absolutely offers no solutions, no upais. This is the greatest difference. Now, as far as transits are concerned, they more or less remain the same in both as in Indian astrology and Western astrology. The transits are more or less the same, but there are a lot of transits that only apply according to Western and do not apply according to Indian. For example, Mercury retrograde right for example, uh, say 30 days or 28 days in a specific month might not be the same timing as an Indian astrological, um, you know, IST. If we have to check Indian standard time and we have to do the calculations, they might not be retrograde at the same time. This is very much possible because according to the retrograde or you know like just like the Hindi mein margi ya vakri, uh, there is a lot of difference as far as Indian and Western astrology. You may try both. You may see whatever suits you more comfortably. For some people, they have found Western astrology very very accurate as far as predictions are concerned. But of course, like I said, Western astrology offers absolutely no solutions. Whereas some people find Hindu astrology very very specific and they offer a lot of solutions so this is the basic difference between the two and in case of any other queries please do contact me at monisha at